if you want to make a fun enrichment toy for your dog, you're going to want to stay tuned for today's video. <music> So we are going to fill Dexter's new toy up with some of his healthy foods. Now, the best thing that you can do if you have the option is to place your toy inside a pan so that you can carry it and it can catch any sloppy mess. So when I'm feeding Dexter, this is basically what he's going to get for the day. So I'm going to incorporate these foods into his interactive toys so they're not extra foods. They're part of his daily caloric needs. And his DIY raw is always different to meet those needs. I will put some information in the description below about the toy and some of these things that I'm putting inside it. And if you look at Dexter's food, I make cubes out of his various foods and freeze them and then thaw them in a bowl like this when I go to feed. So that's why you'll see these nice little squares. So what I have here is some goat milk. So I'm gonna put that in there. And I have some water too. I'm probably gonna add water to these to fill it up a little more and make it a little more long lasting. And tomorrow, and this is his food for tomorrow by the way, cause I'm gonna freeze this. And tomorrow he's getting quinoa and he doesn't always get a grain. But when he does, it's usually something like quinoa. And this is his sardine. And over here we have a muscle blend. And here we have a fruit and fiber blend. And we have a veggie blend, more fiber. And let's see here. And I think that looks good for that. So the other thing we're going to add for tomorrow, he has a boosted turmeric paste that I made for him. So I'm going to put that in the center. And I will add that recipe in the description below as well. And then I also have... <laughs> Oh, silly. Dexter, Dexter smells the food. He's ready. I also am going to add some organic Meeker red raspberry seed powder with some organic MCT coconut oil. I'll just put that right over, right over that. And let's go ahead and add a little water. He's crying. He wants to be fed. And I'm going to go ahead and just kind of mix it and incorporate it. We can add a little more there. And I'm not, <laughs> I don't care if there's extra water in there. And the quinoa was also um, a ready pre-made and cooked down. You really need to cook that quinoa down so it's easier for them to digest. And again, that's an option. You don't have to use a grain. <laughs> And we don't always use greens. We actually use them. We actually use them very sparingly. I hear you, monkey. We add a little bit there. All right. And just for fun, I'm going to put a fish skin in there. Where should I put it? Maybe in there. Okay. So then the next thing is I'm going to take our concoction and we're going to put it in the freezer and freeze overnight. Again, this is for Dexter's meals tomorrow and we will see you tomorrow. So out of the freezer she comes and in the background we do have Dexter who is eagerly awaiting his new chew toy. So I think it looks pretty tasty. Can you hear him in the back? <laughs> I wonder what he's going to go for first. My guess is he'll probably go for a little crunch of that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below on your guess, and then we'll see. What do you think? Are you ready? All right, let's go to your mat. Let's go to your blankie. Move around all the equipment. <laughs> 
Oh, you're so good. You know what to do. Oh. All right, Dexy. What's it going to be first? Shoot that stick. Now it's going to have to thaw before you can get the rest. Now, he's still going for it. <laughs> so I will um, come back and forth with the video on what he's choosing to see what he thinks his favorite's going to be. When that starts to thaw, it will be more lickable. So he might need to take a break. I might need a cheat sheet to remember what's in what. What he thinks of, oh, there he goes, around and around. It's like a popsicle. Um. That good? You like your licky? And as always with your dog, you can start these things out not frozen. So I easily could have just filled those compartments with the fresh food and not froze. Or I can do a little frozen on the bottom and then fill with fresh on top. So instead of filling the entire circle with the food, I could put half of it in on each selection, freeze it, and then top it off with the unfrozen portion. And then that would allow an easier access to the reward, especially as they build on how to do it. And as they do that, the bottom would start to thaw too. <laughs> we'll let him go to town and we'll check in on him in just a minute. All right, so I think the man is picking a favorite so far. Let's take a peek, you ready? Oh, he's like, I want more, mom. Oh, there's maybe a favorite there. Hmm, was that where the fish stick was? It's like, come on, Mom, let me have some more. All right, go back to it, Dexter. All right, let's take a look, see what Dexter's chomping on. <laughs> well, we're going to town on this, aren't we, buddy? Look at that. Is that good? So good? Look at that, look at there. Good boy. All right, let's see where the monkey is. We are 30 minutes into his enrichment toy. All right, Bubby, what you got left? Okay, it's the center one. Okay, go ahead and go back there. So if you enjoyed Dexter chowing down on his food, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to both of our YouTube channels. The links are below. And if you want to dive deeper into your dog's behavior, training, and care, do check out our private Patreon page. That link is below. And until next time, remember to pause and enjoy life. And we will see you in the next video. You okay there, buddy? Finished it up. Let me tell you a story about the baddest dog that ever was. Sneaking food from the fridge, tearing up the garbage. He's a goofy old Dexter the dog. He's a bad, bad Dexter the dog. The baddest part that there ever was.